Hey, it's donation day. Yeah. The big checkout, man. Yep. Breaking records. Yes, we are. Biggest donation yet. Not the biggest check we've ever given away because we've teamed up with other channels before and given away bigger checks than this, but for our community, yeah. Just from the wayward wags, this is the largest check that we will yes. have ever given away. And it's bittersweet. Yes. Because it's our last one from the road. Yes. Not our last one. We're not done. We're just not doing it from the RV anymore. No. And this is going up to uh, Camp Brown Bear. We're going to take you out there and show you some of the stuff going on out there. They're doing great things in the, not just the uh, Lexington, Louisville, Kentucky area, but all over the country, really. Yes. Exactly, he's spreading out. Yeah, um, we went out there yesterday, walked around a little bit, got a lay of the land, got to see some of the stuff that they're doing, yeah. and today we're taking the the whole Wagster group out, and they're going to yeah. get to see firsthand what Camp Brown Bear is doing for the veteran community, and the first time we've ever been able to do a donation in front of this big of a group of of Wagsters. Yeah. Our people. Yeah. We did do the, the big donation down in, in Tampa mm -hmm. in front of a, a, a pretty good group yes. at Phil and Stacy's meetup. Mm -hmm. But this is uh, this is exclusively Wagsters. That's right. And it's going to be it's gonna be really cool. Yes, it is. Even though we had to get up a little early. Who did we ever? Because we want to beat the heat. We want to get yeah. out there early and get it done. Yeah. And uh, this is... So, you'll notice on our travels that we're ahead a little bit. Mm -hmm. on YouTube whatever you see today is ha you know happened probably three or four weeks ago except for these these are more real time so this mm -hmm. is closer to what what's really going on mm -hmm. in the world and then after this we'll go back to your regular scheduled programming mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right scouts excited about it oh yeah scouts excited you want to give away some money buddy <laughs> yeah this is excited face yeah this is me excited <laughs> Well, all right, let's get on the road. we got about a 45-minute drive to get out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's give away some money. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it's already been over two years since we yeah. got our RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. And our sleep has been great. Phenomenal. It's been crazy, life-changing. Sleep impacts your posture, mm -hmm. your mood, and your overall health. Yes. And when it comes to that stuff, you really don't want to rely on the plywood-like mattresses <laughs> that come in RVs when you buy your RV brand new. Yeah. So we have the Aurora Lux hmm. from RV Mattress with the cooling technology that keeps our bodies at a perfect 88 degree sleeping temperature. Yes, and we also have their cooling pillows, their bamboo cotton sheets, and the weighted blanket. We love it so much that we even got a mattress from my mom. Mm -hmm. And she's loving it too, and she doesn't live in an RV. Exactly. Which goes to show you, you don't have to live in an RV to buy an RV mattress from Brooklyn Bedding. They're for everybody, and they come in regular sizes or RV sizes. An RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding also offers you a 120-night sleep trial, 10-year warranty, and free shipping from their factory in Arizona. And if you're watching this video in July, you save you an additional 10%, so a 35% savings on your RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding and everything site-wide. So go down and click in the description below to get that savings. And if you're not watching in July, don't worry, we can still save you a regular 25% by using the promo code WAGS at checkout. Well, welcome to Camp Brown Bear. I'm Stephen Brown. I'm our founder and director out here. I did 20 years, a little over 20 years in the military. I was in the Navy. Uh, Went in the Navy to become a SEAL. I was at SEAL Delivery Vehicle Team 1 for my first five years, which is a mini submersible team. While I was there, I went to sniper school and uh, free fall school and a bunch of other things. From there, I went to SEAL Team 6 in 2001. Uh, I was there through 2009. When I purchased this place in the fall of 2014, uh, it was completely run down. There was no power in any of the buildings. Everything was dilapidated. But when I first saw this place, I was like, this is what I need because I know I need to keep my hands busy and my mind occupied and I need to have something that keeps me like motivated and keeps me moving from the time I wake up to the time I lay my head down to go to sleep. So in 2015, we was really when this place started, it's rehab. We had our first retreat in March of 2015. We all stayed in here. We all were in cots. There was no power in here. It was March, so it was cool. We had two kerosene heaters. That was our heat. And we had one barbecue grill in 
and that was it. Uh, we introduced goats to the property in 2016, and just watching what they did to the place in such a short period of time, I was like, why am I bush hogging and almost rolling my tractor every time I do that? I'm like, no more, no more death by tractor. It's gonna be goats from now on. Uh, Jim Beam came out here, and uh, well, not actually Jim Beam, but a representative of, <laughs> and uh, kind of walked around and. They were like, hey, we'd like to get your shower facility renovated. And I was like, all right, great, because that place is a mess. It's all copper pipes, it's all frozen, broken. It's all in cinder block walls. So Jim Beam did that. And then we, uh, then they're like, hey, we want to renovate your lodge. There's a barrel head underneath the American flag right there that's got Jim Beam. It's got our camp logo, Bourbon 30, Jim Beam Vets. This building now represents our organization. Before, when I would do a presentation up here, a lot of times I would think, maybe I should do this down in the library in town. Cause this building just look terrible. You'll see some pictures of it in a little bit. But. So at our cabins, uh, this is one that's been gutted. There's still obviously some insulation hanging from the ceiling, but the process of doing this was, you know, got them rewire them, put a new uh, can lights and ceiling fans and spray foam insulate them and then seal them up. These are the other two cabins. So that the one on the top is this first cabin where we put our cooks in. It doesn't have carpet anymore. It's got a flooring kind of like the one on the bottom there. And then that's the cabin we used to put every participant in. So this was our shower facility. That's one half of it. This is our female side. So it just went from being dilapidated and just it really it just got a facelift uh, new pipes. So just re, re plumbed everything with PEX, put in new fixtures, put in a little heater, electric heater and I think that project took like two weeks. Um, there's a picture of our current kitchen. I failed to take a picture of our last kitchen because I was disgusted by it so bad I didn't want to remember it. <laughs> so this is the building you're in right now. On the left is what it looked like. Like the ceiling was a mess. There's black stuff growing on it. You could see through the walls and places. What we have now is like so much, so much nicer and more comfortable. So this is our property. So where the blue line is, everything to the right was the original camp. There's 40 acres there. That's what I originally purchased back in 2014. Everything to the left of the camp, as soon as I found out that it actually joined us, I was like, how much do you want for that? <laughs> and I was like, I'm not gonna pass up this opportunity to have, you know, increase our footprint land-wise. So we ended up purchasing that, and that property came with a barn, and it's got a little tiny cabin. So we had a very small trail system on our 40 acres, but now we have a 10-mile trail system because of this other 80. And We've got trails wide enough to get our side-by-sides through. Back in 93, this is what this camp looked like. This is what it looked like when I basically moved out here. Pretty overgrown, and I mean, obviously I've been here for a little bit because you can tell that there's been some tire tracks going around the driveway and things. This is what it looks like now. So what we uh, currently offer is male retreats, female retreats. They're separate. We don't do any co-mingling. And then couples, veterans retreats, which can look, looks like a veteran and any person that supports that veteran. Uh, our organization is 100% volunteer. We're, all of our board members are veterans. All of our volunteers are either veterans or family members of veterans. The retreats are free for veterans. The only thing that they have to do is get here and get home. So this year we'll have probably about 130, not 150 participants come through here uh, because they're going from 15 to 13 retreats. We do max, we cap out our number of individuals to 10 and then our couples to five. Uh, the main things that we try to get out into a veteran here is just being out here and being around other veterans and building that camaraderie back up and having someone to talk to you that understands what you're talking about has maybe experienced something similar to you. All of our practitioners are trauma-based practitioners. So instead of saying it's just yoga, it's trauma-based yoga. It's trauma-based art therapy. It's trauma, everything's trauma-based. So it's really important to understand trauma is at a cellular level, it's not just in your head. And it's throughout your entire body. And so when we bring in our practitioners, we make sure that that's, we make sure they know what they're doing and it, that who they're working with. Um, the other big things about this place is just being in the wilderness, it has a healing effect. And like I say, this property has its own healing effect as well. So it's kind of like doubled down. And then sitting around that campfire at night watching fire TV, there's, there's nothing other, there's nothing more relaxing and calming and therapeutic than sitting there watching that fire glow. Yeah. But our number one thing here is to have a good time. If you're not having fun, then I screwed my job up. Well, first of all, thank you so much for your service and your sacrifice to our country. And 
I'm gonna try and not get emotional because this is <laughs> this is a big deal this time because we have waxers here. Yes. Uh, the first time we've ever had uh, a group of of just exclusively Wayward Wags community to come together and do something like this. And um, what I haven't told them, and I haven't told you, I haven't told anybody, is uh, this is our, gonna be our largest donation that we've ever done. Uh, yeah. yeah. We've, we've done bigger ones than this collectively with other channels, but from the Wayward Wags community, this is yeah. the largest donation that we've, that we've ever been able to do. And I think it's very fitting because, man, you donated like the last 10 years of your life yeah. to help veterans and selflessly, I mean, you're, the only thing you're getting out of it is to help your fellow brothers and sisters get through the stuff that they're getting through because you were able to get through it and, and not a lot of people can get through it on their own and, and push through and deal with it. And I know it's part of your therapy too, yeah. is to help veterans and, and that's part of my therapy and part of Leslie's therapy to help, help support me is to help veterans and that's why we do stuff like this. And uh, man, you guys have done just an amazing job. Yeah. Can't thank you enough for the the support you give to the veteran community in Kentucky and the whole country. Yeah. I mean, you guys have had veterans here from 49 out of the 50 states. It's just it's just amazing to do. And so I'm gonna turn it over to Leslie and let her present you with okay. the check. So on behalf of every Wayward Wag supporter, and especially our Wagsters in general, they are big portion of what we're able to give away. I would like to present you with a check for $6,000. Hope it will help fund some trips out. That definitely will. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. You You're guys. welcome. It is our pleasure. We uh, couldn't think of anybody so better to give it to. It's a pleasure. Uh, it's been awesome meeting you all, and thank you all for coming out here and listening to me run my sock in there. And, <laughs> uh, seriously, though, I mean, we can't do everything we do out here without support from others. We can do what we can do by ourselves with no support, but we can do a lot more with support. Yeah. And I don't like to ask for help. Yeah, so really I'm not going to ask for help, <laughs> but if you all want to help. <laughs> But yeah, just thank you so much, uh, man. That is, I wasn't expecting that. So, <laughs> for all of you who are watching this and have supported us, thank you so much for your support and for helping us. We could not do this without you, without the support of our, our Waxers. Thank you so much. If you want to make a direct donation to Camp Brown Bear, we're going to leave all the information that you need down in the description of this video. And stick around for a few seconds because like we always do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen service member. And uh, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out there traveling on the road, everything you need to know is also down in the description of this video. We appreciate you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 See you. <laughs>
our going to be our largest donation that we've ever done. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we've, we've done bigger ones than this collectively with other channels, but from the Wayward Wags community, this is yeah. the largest donation that we've that we've ever been able to do. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very fitting because, man, you donated like the last <laughs> 10 years of your life yeah. to help veterans and selflessly, I mean, you're the only thing you're getting out of it is to help your fellow brothers and sisters get through the stuff that they're getting through because you were able to get through it and and not a lot of people can get through it on their own and, and push through and deal with it. And I know it's part of your therapy too, yeah. is to help veterans. And, and that's part of my therapy and part of Leslie's therapy to help, help support me is to help veterans. And that's why we do stuff like this. And uh, man, you guys have done just an amazing job. Yeah. Can't thank you enough for the, the support you give to the veteran community in Kentucky and the whole country. Yeah. I mean, you guys have had veterans here from 49 yes. out of the 50 <laughs> states. It was just, it's just amazing to do and so I'm going to turn it over to Leslie and let her present you with okay. the check. <laughs> so on behalf of every wayward WAG supporter and especially our WAGsters in general, they are a big portion of what we're able to give away. I would like to present you with a check for $6,000. Wow. <laughs> 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 Some trips out. That definitely will. Awesome. Will awesome. Right. awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. You You're guys. welcome. It's our pleasure. Yeah. We uh, couldn't think of anybody so much, better man. to give it to. Yeah. Thank you. It's a so, pleasure. Uh, it's been awesome meeting you all, and thank you all for coming out here and listening to me run my sock in there. And, <laughs> uh, seriously, though, I mean, we can't do everything we do out here without support from others. Mm -hmm. We can do what we can do by ourselves with no support, but we can do a lot more with support yeah. and I don't like to ask for help yeah so I'm not gonna ask for help yeah. but if you all want to help <laughs> absolutely yeah. but yeah just thank you so much um, man that was I wasn't expecting that so that's really cool. um, now can I get everybody to, to come in and sure. we're gonna we'll close out the video I want to have everybody in so we can close yeah. out the video together. Uh, just go over here. I'll make we'll sure I'll make sure everybody's in frame, and then we'll do that. Okay. Everybody, scoot in as much as you can. Scoot in as much as you can. Yeah, hold that. Can't just stand in the back doing nothing. There we go. There we go. All right. Let me see if I can jam in here. <laughs> well, I don't want to block anybody's head. Yeah, we're good. Just going to close out the video. For all of you who are watching this and have supported us, thank you so much for your support and for helping us. We could not do this without you, without the support of our, our waxers. Thank you so much. If you want to make a direct donation to Camp Brown Bear, we're going to leave all the information that you need down in the description of this video. And stick around for a few seconds because, like we always do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen service member. And um, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out there traveling on the road, everything you need to know is also down in the description of this video. We appreciate you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 See ya. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Awesome. Good. Yep. Awesome. Back. And I'll grab that screen. I'll grab screenshots off of the video to, to, to make pictures yeah. okay. and stuff, cool. so we're good. So we had you guys good. down here. Good. Good. That's so cool. <laughs> 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 <laughs>